and today's term is Alternate Defense Counsel. And the definition is the Office of Alternate Defense Counsel provides legal representation for people who are who qualify for a public defender but for whom there is a conflict such as a co-defendant being represented by a public defender. So Mitch, what does that really mean? Break that down for us. Well, we have a public defender system in the state of Colorado. In fact, we have one of the best in the country. And it's when someone's indigent and can't pay for a lawyer. There's private lawyers out there that do criminal defense and they charge for their services. Public defender is free for the defendants, it's not free for the taxpayers, uh, but there's a good office across the state. But what happens oftentimes is you'll have two or more people then charged in the same case and they're all indigent, or at least they're claiming they are. And so what do you do when the public defender has a conflict? So what the state of Colorado did was they created an office of counsel that can then take over and represent the other indigent person. So if you had three defendants, you'll have a public defender and two alternate counsel. And they're private attorneys that are on a list that get paid by the state then to represent indigent people. So it helps us with that whole idea that everybody and everybody does has a right to counsel even if you can't afford one. And this is the way Colorado deals with that situation when the public defender can only represent one of them. And that's all the time. They can't take the other two, the other one, because they would have a conflict there having two public defenders on the same case representing two different defendants who may have different defenses. That's interesting. I didn't realize that the public defender's office couldn't defend multiple people, but it's just one person in a one particular case. One person per case. Gotcha. Okay.